Welcome back to the channel. You're here to see how to solve a pair of these using graphs. So let's get right into it. So the pair of simultaneous equations that we're going to look at today are 2x plus y equals to 8 minus 3x plus y is equal to minus 2. Now, as the title suggests, we're going to solve this graphically, which means we're going to draw it on a graph. So let's go straight into what that would look like. Now here is my first one. Now as you can see I have used the computer software to draw the graph but in the exam you will not have access to this. So what I would suggest you do you only need two points to draw a line and for me two of the easiest points would be where it crosses the y-axis and where it crosses the x-axis. So how I would do that I am going to say let x equals 0. So that's going to tell me if x is 0, I am about to find out where it crossed the y-axis. So I'm going to replace this for 0, which means I'm going to have 2 times 0 plus y is equal to 8. 2 times 0 is 0, so therefore y is equal to 8. And there is my first point right there. For the second one, this time I'm going to let y equal 0. So let y equal to 0. Now, at y equals 0 all the way down, that's where the line crosses the x-axis right there. So now I'm going to replace this y here for 0. So now I'm going to have 2x plus 0 is equal to 8. That means that 2x is equal to 8. And then you just divide by 2 there. And that means x is equal to 4. So this graph crosses the x-axis at 4. 4 right there. And then after you've put your two points in, it's a, just a matter of taking your ruler and draw straight down there. So that's going to be my first one, and that's literally how quick it is. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the second line. The second line was that minus 3x plus y is equal to minus 2. I'm not going to go through what I've just done, but you can do the same thing. Um, so here are the answers after you say let y and x equal 0. Let x equal 0 means that you're going to have 0 here. y is going to be minus 2, which makes sense because you can see it crosses there at minus 2. This one's a bit more tricky because I picked the wrong question, which I should have made it more obvious. But nonetheless, we are here. Um, so that's going to be 2 thirds there. So that's just 2 thirds along the way there. And then draw that. If for any reason you can't do it that way and you're really struggling to find your second point, I would say just choose another point on the graph. So for example, I'm going to deliberately choose x equal to 2 here. So I'm going to say let x equal 2, which means that I'm going to be replacing this x here for 2. Um, so that's going to be minus 3 times 2 plus y is equal to minus 2. This becomes negative 6 plus y equals minus 2. In order to find out what y is, I need to add 6 to both sides, which I'm going to quickly do here. Add 6 there and there. And that means that these cancel out and y is equal to 4 here. And you can see that when x is 2, y is 4. When x is 2, y is 4. So that's going to be my second point. So if you end up with some nonsense like this and life isn't great for you, just pick another point and then get something that's usable. Anyway, let's see what this looks like on a graph. Once we finish doing all that now, we plot those two lines. Theoretically, they should always cross each other provided that the gradients are not the same. Um, that's a different conversation for another day. But if you want to see more about gradients, have a look at my video called y equals to mx plus c, which you can see popping out at the top of the screen right now. However, this is my first graph here. That's going to be this one going down here. And this is my second graph here. That's going to be this graph going up here. And where do we find our solutions? Well, we find our solutions where the two graphs cross each other. So you can clearly see they cross each other here. And usually, in a pair of simultaneous equations, we're going to have, if it's two linear equations, we're going to have two answers. And the first answer will come straight from the x-axis down here. 
So you can clearly see that that first answer says x is equal to 2. And my second answer goes straight across there. And that's going to say y is equal to 4. And that's how you solve a pair of simultaneous equations using graphs. Now, on the exam, they might already draw the graphs for you. And then they'll tell you that it's only one mark. And in that case, just look for where the two lines cross each other. Read off and read that off. Don't forget that this is on the x-axis. So the answer you get here is an x answer, and that's on the y-axis. The answer you get there is a y answer. Now, let's say you ask yourself the question, where does this become applicable? Well, let's look at an example as we've already got it here. Let's say you have to vet a couple of plumbers and see how much it's going to cost you for them to come and do some work around at your house. Now, one plumber charges a starting fee or a call-out fee of, say, 50 pounds but then they charge you 20 pounds per hour after that. The second plumber, on the other hand, charges you 20 pounds, and they charge you then 50 pounds per hour after that. At which point do you start thinking which one's gonna be more expensive? Well, it comes down to how long you need them for. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Now, um, I think you should watch this video next because it helps you with something that we talked about in the video. For now, though, until I see you on the next one, peace.